Guys, I've got the most awesome batteries on the planet right here. Look at these things. They are phenomenal. Advanced, smart. They have an indicator right there. These things are awesome. Guys, let's get to the table. We got a lot of specs to cover. Let's go. Look at this. That is awesome. Before I get into the details, this is really next level, next generation smart battery technology right here. I mean, look at this right here. That is awesome. That right there, that's your like your light codes and all that for when you push this little button right here. Check this out. That means we are 41 to 75% charged, which is pretty much your storage charge for this thing. This is beautiful. Let's get into some of the tech specs of this battery because uh, it is truly remarkable. Let's start with this right here. This is important, guys. So if you push this and you have one light flashing red and blue, one light flashing red and blue, that means that there's a large cell voltage difference. One of these cells is not happy at all. Now, if you have one that's just flashing red, guess what that means? That means you got one cell or something that's overcharged. Now, if you get into an overcharged situation, let's say you set your charger up wrong or something like that because you want to get the high voltage into this, 4.35 volts per cell versus the 4.2 volts per cell for the regular uh, LiPo batteries. If you get into an overvoltage situation, the circuitry in this battery right here will actually take and cut loose the power to your balance plug. This will actually turn off the charger because the charger no longer gets battery voltages through the uh, plug there, the balance lead. And that will actually help save you from overcharging your battery, which could save a whole lot of stuff. So safety is a big deal with this guy. If you push this and it's solid red, at that point, low voltage warning. Basically, your battery's dead. If you're wondering which one is charged and ready to go, there we go. Boom. Ha <laughs> ha. When you get your batteries, you're going to want to go over all of this and make sure you understand what it does, especially like this right here. When you're out in the field, you're like, oh man, you know your battery's dead or, oh, I've got another problem. Let's go see what, see what we can do with that. It tells you what everything is going on, you know, all your codes, everything before you're charging, charging, storage. Uh, yeah. Let's go over the storage feature on this. Built-in storage feature is awesome. That can save you a puffed battery or you know, possibly worse. The way this works is if this battery is sitting around after about five days, the internal circuit board, yes, there's a little bit of a clock in there. There's a timer, all right? Uh, if it sees that your battery voltage, your cells are 3.95 volts or higher, it will begin to storage charge it. So basically, it will discharge the cells down to about 3.8 volts per cell, and it will do it automatically. Now, it's not going to do it fast. It's not going to do it, you know, within the hour, but it will bring your cells down. That way, when you go to break this out after, like, you know, a hard winter, and you're finally ready to go drive around in spring, these batteries will be ready to take a charge. That's an awesome feature. Keep in mind, if the cells are under the storage charge without this being hooked up to something, it's not going to bring the voltage back up. It's not going to self-charge to get the storage. So still, pay attention to it. As a size reference, there it is versus the basher battery right here. Yeah. These, you guys have seen these in the Raminator quite a bit. Yeah. I've got two of these 4S batteries, and they are meant for the Arma Creighton 8S. Yeah, they are going to fit. And I'm going to show you guys how to make them fit. Let's get that Creighton over here. Look at that right there. It fits perfectly. Now, all you've got to do, take the two screws from underneath the chassis. I'll show you that in just a few seconds. Back it up to the second holes and give yourself about that much room right there. About five millimeters or so. These two screws right here were here and here. So you take them loose and just simply back them up right to there and you fit all your big batteries in there. 
Look at this right here. It's a perfect fit. A perfect fit for the Losi DBXLE stock battery trays. Ho, 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 wow. And you know, you know they're working on some 6S versions of these as well. Yeah, 12S. Oh my God. This thing is also on 12S. Oh, these are some awesome batteries. That is awesome. I mean, it fits perfectly. No slop, nothing. Yeah. Look at this. It fits the Mojave. It fits the Mojave beautifully. Yes, this is a brand new EXB Mojave that I have yet to put power in. Eventually it will get power. But this fits the Mojave. How awesome is that? And the Creighton 6S EXB. Or just basically any Creighton 6S. Look at that. Fits. And yes, all those reach. Very nice. With the battery spacer out of the way, it fits the Coralie Kronos XTR. Uh, this is the 2022 model. It fits this. It will not fit the stock trays on the SCX6. However, Vitavon has some nice carbon trays that you can put on here. And yeah, they'll fit with that. I know how some of you guys want a lot of runtime. Well, I hate to say it, but it is a little too big for your 124ths. Sorry. As far as an X-Max goes, now granted, there's a ton of room forward and backwards. A ton of room there, but obviously it's way too tall to close this. If you've got the Velcro straps and all that, yeah, you can make them work in an X-Max. <laughs> to wrap this up, these batteries have two really important features that I really like. Number one is the self-storage feature. You put this thing away, you charge it up, you put it away, you're like, oh man, I might go running next weekend or I might go driving tomorrow. Stuff comes up, so you put the battery up and then it could be two or three weeks before you get back to this particular vehicle or what this battery fits. The self-discharge, the self-storage, proper term on that, will actually help you out quite a bit because if you store a battery properly, it will actually last longer. I've got some other batteries around here that are four and five years old. They're not puffed. They're still in great shape because I try to take care of my batteries and this will do it for you. Now, as far as the over voltage protection when you're charging, that's important. A lot of batteries go up in flames on the charger. If they go up in flames on a vehicle, usually, Usually, it has something to do with the ESC dead shorting the battery. Something in there just kind of, boom, massive amp draw, and it just, everything goes up in flames. It's never a good thing. But while this is on the charger, I've seen them go poof in the charger. If they get over voltage on any of the cells, this thing will actually uh, cut the power to the balance port. And by, re by taking the power off of that, using the censored mode on your charger, it will stop the charger from charging, which could save a lot. A whole lot of everything, if you catch what I'm saying. So I really like the safety features of these batteries. That's a huge thing. As far as fitting them in, in stuff, Sure, they're a little bit tall, but you know what? They fit the DBXLE, all the 6S stuff for my uh, Arma. It fit the Coralie. That was phenomenal. So guys, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys like the video. Batteries are phenomenal. We're gonna go take them for a drive real soon. So check that description. Use those links right here. Make sure you're subscribed. And guys, Thank you all for watching. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also for channel memberships, if you guys wanna be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.